good morning to all of you in previous session we were discussing about fourier transform properties right we have seen the first property of fourier transform that is linearity as well as we have seen one example where we identified the fourier transform by applying the linearity property in uh, today's session we will be discussing two properties of fourier transform first one is time shifting and second one is the time reversal so first we will see the time shifting property of fourier transform so i will write down the formula for fourier transform as we have seen the fourier transform of discrete time signal x of n is simply denoted as capital x of omega and its formula is summation n is equals to minus infinity to infinity x of n into e to the power minus j omega n okay so this thing we have seen already <coughs> so this is the formula for fourier transform so as per time shifting property if there is a discrete time signal x of n with its fourier transform capital x of omega then the fourier transform of time shifted signal that is x of n minus k here the signal x of n is shifted by k sample in time so its fourier transform will be simply the multiplication of e to the power minus j omega k k here is nothing but the time by which the signal is shifted right it multiplied by the fourier transform of x of n okay, that is nothing but x of omega so basically as per time shifting property it means that if a signal is shifted in the time domain by k samples its magnitude spectrum remains unchanged that means x of omega will be as it is okay so its magnitude will be as it is right however the phase spectrum is changed by an amount of minus omega k okay so as it is x of omega is multiplied to the power minus j omega k so the phase phase spectrum is changed by an amount minus omega k right so frequency content of a signal depends only on its shape basically right so shifting by k sample in time domain is equivalent to multiplying the spectrum that is x of omega by e to the power minus j omega k in the frequency domain okay so this is frequency domain this one is time domain so shifting by k sample means simply multiplying the spectrum by e to the power minus j omega k in the frequency domain okay so that is what time shifting properties right so similarly there is another property which is nothing but the time reversal property so second property that we will be discussing today is time reversal okay so again if x of n is the discrete time signal with fourier transform capital x of omega then the time reverse signal x of minus n as the fourier transform x of minus omega right so as per this property here we are holding the signal in time okay about the origin right so x of n is uh, or the x of n's folded version is simply represented as x of minus n right so if a signal is folded about the origin in time its magnitude spectrum remains unchanged and the phase spectrum that is this omega right the phase spectrum undergoes a change in size sign okay so that means the phase is also get reversed right as uh, time has been reversed here so similarly uh, the fourier transform of the time reverse signal will be same as the fourier transform of the uh, original x of n signal the difference only in the reversal of phase okay so phase is also get reversed here right so you can also prove this property so as we know that uh, the 
Fourier transform of discrete time signal x of n is simply summation n is equals to minus infinity infinity x of n into e to the power minus j omega n. Right. So this is nothing but your x of omega. So here we want to identify the Fourier transform of x of minus n. Right. So it will be simply summation n is equals to minus infinity to infinity x of minus n okay because i want to identify the fourier transform x of minus n so x of minus n into e to the power minus j omega n right so here uh, this particular equation has been simply denoted as x of omega as here e to the power minus j omega n is there right so it's denoted as x of omega so i'll just rewrite this last equation what we have Fourier transform of x of minus n is simply what is the equation summation summation n is equals to minus infinity to infinity this is x of minus n into e to the power minus j omega n right so just for example if I am replacing this minus n okay in place of minus n if I am keeping the value just for example k right so this equation will be can be written as simply this this Fourier transform of x or minus n can be simply represented as summation in place of minus n i'm keeping k so it will be minus k okay? but I, if i'm sending minus sign inside this summation so it will be again all values get multiplied with negative sign so it will be again minus infinity to infinity right so k is equals to minus infinity to infinity x of k into e to the power j omega k okay because minus n will be replaced with k here right okay. so here if you compare this with the original formula of Fourier transform that is Fourier transform of x of n which is simply reprinted as uh, right here the formula initial n is equals to minus infinity to infinity okay, so here it is minus infinity to infinity x of n into e to the power minus j omega n okay so this has been denoted as x of omega so if you compare these two formulas right so all things are similar simply this variable is n here here it is k okay and the difference is here it is positive sign and here it is negative sign so this particular formula can be simply represented as x of minus omega okay so it will be x of minus omega so it will be represented as or denoted as x of minus omega instead of x of omega here the sign of omega is plus here it is minus okay so we can represent it as x of minus omega so that is nothing but the time reversal property so in time reversal property if the signal is folded about the origin so that means if you are identifying the Fourier transform x of minus n its magnitude spectrum will be unchanged but the phase spectrum undergo a sign change okay so it will be also referred as what phase reversal right so this is also called as what phase reversal right so these two properties were discussed first one is time shifting and second one is the time reversal right so in next session we'll be discussing another property of Fourier transform that is convolution okay, so we can call it as convolution theorem okay so that we'll be discussing in the next session thank you for joining this session